It is quite a snowy day here and it's so pretty and I was just thinking about people that live in climates where you never see snow. Do you like wish you could see snow or are you like, sorry I'm out of breath, <laughs> we're running downstairs to grab a sparkling water. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> anyway, I'm genuinely curious about people that don't have snow where they live. Like do you wish you had snow? Like do you wish you had more of a winter or are you kind of glad that you don't? I'm always curious about that. I think if I ever moved away from the Midwest, I would miss the seasons, you know? I don't have any lights on, it's all just my window. Is that better? Maybe? I'll turn it on. I think it looks a little bit warmer with it on. Okay, so. <laughs> So we switched to sparkling water. I've had plenty of coffee this morning. This is still the one, I think I was talking about on my Instagram, the AHA sparkling water. This blueberry pomegranate is so good. If you like sparkling water like LaCroix, this is absolutely my favorite I think I've ever tried. I tried another one that's like their, it's like cherry and coffee, which sounds weird, but a lot of you guys are like, no, it kind of tastes like Coke. There's caffeine in it, but of course it's just sparkling water. So I got it and it tastes like Tootsie Pops. And I don't know that I like it. I've had a couple of them now because I'm like, well, now I bought this box. Like, what was I thinking? It's okay, but I don't think I'm gonna buy it again once I go through it, but definitely recommend this one. Okay. Today, we are doing a video I do every other month called Speed Reviews, where I go through makeup I've tried in the past few months and share really quickly my more finalized review and thoughts on them. Do I recommend them or not, etc. Most of these you'll get to see what they look like on my face. I am wearing as much of this as I could. And I have a whole playlist devoted to this. So if you like this style and you wanna watch my past few speed reviews videos, you can definitely binge them on the playlist. All right, let's dive in. We have a lot of drugstore. I have a dupe or two to talk about. I feel like every time I do these, I always have a dupe to mention because I have tried a lot and there are just so many similarities between certain products. So let's talk about one that I was very pleasantly surprised by. These lip products from Milani. The packaging of these is beautiful. I love these shades that I have. I'm wearing this pinkish one called 130 Lingerie on my lips today. It's not quite as fuchsia-y pink as I was kind of hoping when I put it on today, but these are so reminiscent of what seemingly every brand is doing right now, which is very reminiscent of like the Revlon Lip Butters of the past, where it's a lipstick that definitely has color, but it's just comfortable, it's like moisturizing. But one thing to know about these kinds of products, because literally right now every brand has them, is that they do move around a little bit. They're more of a comfortable lip product, and with that that comes that kind of movement. So I always say, you know, especially if I'm drinking coffee or something, I'll get those little wings. <laughs> they have like this orange vanilla cream smell to them. And you guys like an orange creamsicle, remember those? Love the smell, love the packaging, love the formula. Let's talk about one that I think is a dud at the drugstore. This is the Burt's Bees Mattifying Powder Foundation. The name powder foundation I think is misleading because I don't think this comes with like a ton of coverage or anything. This feels like a very mediocre, just powder for setting your face, for soaking up a little bit of the oil. It does that, it soaks up the oil. I put it in my T-zone, but then I added some highlight because I just like a little glow. Mine clearly broke and honestly, I don't like it enough to try to fix it or even pass it on to someone. I just, so I'm bummed that I didn't like it. I was excited that it was gonna be a powder foundation at the drugstore because I'm still working on finding some powder foundations at the drugstore that I love as much as a lot of high-end ones. The closest I've come is the L'Oreal one that recently launched, I really, really like. Okay, so something, that I haven't been using for as long as some of these other products, but I don't care, I have to mention it, is this e.l.f. Lash It Loud Mascara. I have gotten so many questions from you guys recently about like, Jessica, what mascara are you wearing? And I'm telling you, this one is usually it, and it just gives you like that faux lash look, and it only takes one coat. If you saw my new makeup from e.l.f. try on video, I can link below, it was only like mm, a month ago, if even that. And I had been saying in that video that I hadn't really tried a mascara from e.l.f. ever that I liked, ever. So I had really low expectations and this just blew me out of the water. I think it is so beautiful. Actually, I did put two coats on this one and only one on that. So you can kind of see the difference if you did want to take the time to do a second coat. Probably should have put a, oh well. But really with one coat, my gosh. I do feel like this is not, if you're someone that gets kind of sweaty around the eyes or oily or you just always get smudging, I think you will find that after like seven or eight hours of wearing this, you'll probably get a little bit of that. I only wear it on the top lash, so I haven't been experiencing that too much. What I wonder if they'll ever come out with a waterproof version of this, that would be even better. But it's a drier formula, it has a plasticky brush, but what I do like about it is that you can really push your lashes up 
when you're putting it on and it holds the curl really well too. So love it. So something crazy expensive that I have, I think like two different dupes for is this Guerlain L'Essentiel foundation. I bought this cause Taylor Wynn recommended it. Anyway, it's their natural glow foundation, 16 hour wear, it has SPF of 20. This has a very strong smell. So you'll notice that like if you ever bought this or sampled it, you would notice that right off the bat. Packaging, really cute, nice glass bottle, kind of sits off kilter, which I think is cute. It looks like BB-8. <laughs> Is that the right one? Yeah, I think so. This shade match is nearly perfect. I'm wearing it today and I wanna show you what it looks like with nothing else on my face. It really is a pretty glowy foundation. It's not gonna ever be a high coverage, but it definitely can get up to about medium and it's really pretty on the skin. The only thing is it's obviously pricey. I don't know when and if I use this up, which I'm sure that I will because I do enjoy it a lot. I don't know that I would buy it again because there are two drugstore products that I feel like give a very similar effect. One is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Foundation. That one I think has a very similar effect, a similar wear time, a similar look on the skin. The Wet n Wild one is like under $10. This one is way, way more. Another one that hit me today that I feel like this looks like, maybe even more, is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation. That is one of my holy grail foundations that I discovered last year. I have almost used the entire thing up. I will repurchase. And I think I like that one slightly better than this. So if you're really wanting that look, I would say go for the L'Oreal one or even the Wet n Wild one and maybe skip on this, even though I think this foundation is absolutely beautiful. So if you're wanting to splurge on a foundation and you like the similar look to what I like, you'll probably love this. I have the shade 02C, by the way. Something at the drugstore that the more I used it, the more I was like, eh, is From Flower Beauty. I tried it in my new From Flower Beauty video. It's their Supernova Celestial Priming Whip. Now they have a Supernova Celestial like radiant serum. Mine had gone bad and so I got rid of it. I like that way better. This Priming Whip, it's like a mousse. It's kind of interesting. I think it's just a fun idea, right? And you literally will take, like, I dropped it on my pants. Anyway, you will take it and you literally rub it between your fingers and it kind of becomes more of like a lotion, if you will, and you rub it on your skin. I just don't know that this did much for me at all. I don't know that it was doing much for me skin-wise, but on top of it, I really don't think it helped with longevity of makeup either. It didn't help with the way my skin looked. Like So for me to take this extra step of doing a primer, which I don't do every day, I needed to at least be doing something and I just didn't feel like this was doing anything. Origins had a similar one. I don't even know if they still sell it. I loved that one, but I felt like that one did more for my skin than this one did, which is why like if you're really dying to do a priming whip, I would go for that one if they still sell it. So on my cheeks, I've gotten so many questions about my thoughts on this. So to finally share my official final thoughts, this is the Rare Beauty little liquid blush in the shade Bliss. Love this shade, really glad. I only bought one and I'm really glad that's the shade I went with. It's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today and I just feel like it gives such a beautiful, natural finish to the cheeks. Some cream blushes can be a little much, especially depending on your skin tone and trying to get the shade right. This just always looks so pretty. Definitely the way to apply it, 100%, is to take the little dropper and what I do is I literally get some on my finger like this rub it on my hand, then tap it on. And usually I'll do that twice for each cheek. A little bit goes a long way, but it just blends into the skin beautifully. It stays all day. This is the amount of blush I like. I don't think I need to buy another one because I'm happy with the shade, but I definitely like the formula. If you've been wanting to dive into like liquid blushes, you felt a little intimidated, you might really like this one because it is forgiving if you get the right shade and if you apply it the way that I would recommend to apply it. So I, it's just beautiful. Now a drugstore cream blush, so not liquid, but cream that I have absolutely fallen in love with is from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream, cream Blush. That's hard to say, Cheek Kiss Cream Blush. Say that five times fast. I have it in the shade Nude Kiss 110. Perfect shade for me. I could probably go lighter, but I don't think they have one lighter. And I'm telling you, in person, it's darker than what it looks. If it looked like it does on camera, it'd be perfect, but it's a little bit deeper. This is definitely best applied with a duo fiber, like stippling brush. I feel like every brand makes stippling brushes. So you can find one at any price point. Elf makes a really good one. I will link below as well. But that is definitely the way to apply this. And it ends up blending so quickly and easily onto the skin. Very similar look to what you're seeing with the Rare Beauty, but this is just a little bit of a different shade and of course a different texture completely. It stays in place pretty well. It performs very much like expensive cream blushes I've tried over the years. So highly recommend if you can find a shade that works for you. Here's a dud. 
And I, I kept <laughs> dragging my feet talking about it because I kept thinking, no, maybe I'll apply it this way. And I kept trying it and I just can't fall in love with this. It's from Nude Stick, so it wasn't cheap when I bought it or ever. <laughs> that was a weird thing to say. Uh, it's their Nude Fix Cream Concealer. I have it in the shade Nude too. The shade is great. <sighs> I'm wearing it today. And here's the thing, I have tried everything. I've tried applying it and blending it in right away, whether it's with my finger brush or uh, sponge. I've tried it where you apply it and let it sink in for a minute or two. Sometimes that'll help the formula kind of stay in place a little bit better before you blend it. And that's actually what I did today. And I just, no matter how I've applied it, it's not like it's the worst concealer I've ever used. But I just feel like it leaves something to be desired. This feels like a drugstore concealer 20 years ago when the drugstore wasn't as good as it is today. Does that make sense? It just, it blends in fine, it covers fine. You can see, I don't think it looks like horrendous, but most of the concealers I try blend in really nicely. This one always gets caught in weird ways and it just looks like, patchy's not the right word, but just like uneven throughout. Like I can see little dots of the concealer pigment. Does that make sense? And. I just, I don't like it. And I'm bummed about it too because I actually really think the packaging's cute. And I love this doe foot applicator that's like super squishy and super flat. And so when you paint on the concealer, it just, oh, it feels good. And also I love that it's a squeezy tube. So I could, as the concealer, if I like loved this enough to use it up, I could oops, squeeze the concealer out as well. I wish more concealers came in packaging like this, but I'm sad to say I really don't like the concealer itself. Okay, so I don't know that I've even mentioned this in a video. I bought it a while ago, I think during the Sephora sale, like in 20, end of 2020. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette. Uh, and it's called Stoned Rose Beauty. I'd seen a couple people here on YouTube use it and talk about it, and I love so much from the brand. I was like, you know what? During the sale, I'm gonna buy it. I wanna try it out. I liked the idea that when I looked at it, I knew color-wise I would use all of these. I always rag on like face palettes and stuff, or even just larger eyeshadow palettes where I feel like when I look at it, there's too much in there I wouldn't use or that wouldn't be right for me. But when I looked at this, I thought, you know what? I would use all of those shades. So it's got, three eyeshadows and four face products. A bronzer, that's a great shade match for me, a face highlight and two different cheek like blushes. Um, I just feel like it's just fine. And that's what bums me out because obviously this is not cheap. It just feels fine. The eyeshadows leave something to be desired. It's what I'm wearing today. It's not quite as shimmery as what I typically like in eyeshadow, but it's fine. Like it looks good, but just like fine. <laughs> Okay. And my other gripe is that these face products are also good, but these blushes are so tiny. I feel like I've got to take my blush brush and like make it smaller and fit it in there and get that. And then, and it's just more work than I feel like doing. I'm like, I'd almost have rather have had just one cheek shade larger in the middle. I'm a little bummed. I'm not going to get rid of it because I still think all of the products in it are good and I use it from time to time, but I just don't think anyone needs to run out and buy it. Because even if you know you're going to use these shades like I do, I just don't think it's anything spectacular. And I feel like you'd be better off buying one or two products from her that you really, really love than buying this expensive palette that's just mediocre quality. That's all. I did do an updated Charlotte Tilbury video using a bunch of their products, sharing what I think are the best and worst. And then I also had some dupes for a lot of the products. So I'll link that below because I still stand by all of that. One that I've really grown to love this past month is from Flower Beauty. It's their Petal Play Shadow Quad. And this is the one in Gilded Lily. Packaging, gorgeous. Beautiful neutral shades. I just have loved this. My only gripe is these two shades are very, very similar. However, that means that like, I'll put this all over the lid and then blend this one in the crease. They do blend so seamlessly because they are very close. I don't think this particular quad is gonna be right for everyone, but they do have obviously other quad options. But if you're near my skin tone or you like similar eye looks to what I do, very simple, you know, blended together pretty simply, very simple. Did I say that enough? <laughs> anyway, it's really pretty. And you know what? This shimmer right here in the corner is so, so gorgeous. It's this beautiful, almost rose gold. These are really soft shadows and they're just thin. So they don't, I don't feel like they move around. They're easy to work with. This dark brown I've used lightly in the crease. So I obviously didn't use this one today because I used the Charlotte Tilbury, but I've been using this so much. 
And there was a recent video I did that so many of you guys were asking what was on your eyes. And I'm pretty sure it was this. It's just this beautiful shimmery swath of color all over. And I love it. And I love that the packaging is beautiful and the price is right. So there we go. Price is right, baby. So another one is from Honest Beauty. I don't think I've mentioned this yet in a speed review video. I bought this kind of on a whim a while ago, but a lot of you guys had recommended it. It's the Honest Beauty Cream Cheek Blush. This is in rose pink. This is beautiful. Very similar to the Tower 28 one that I also love. This one's a little bit cheaper, I think. But the Tower 28 is not as expensive as a lot of other Sephora brands. But anyway, it's nice and creamy. It stays in place. Definitely a little bit goes a long way, so keep that in mind. I do think the Tower 28 one is a little bit more forgiving because if you put too much of this on, it's like, ugh. Tower 28, I feel like it's a little more blendable once you've got it on, whereas this, you kind of got to work, not crazy fast, but you need to kind of know what you're doing. So this one, I also like to apply with my finger because I just find that if I try it with a brush, it sometimes ends up being too much, whereas the brush with this Milani one works great. So it's kind of, I feel like every cream blush has its own idiosyncrasies, and that's just something to know. I think if you're going to apply this with a brush, you definitely want to like dip your brush in the stipple brush and then wipe some of it off and then go in. And that's one way you could do it without having to use your fingers if you didn't want to. So one that I've grown to really like these past few weeks is from Buxom. It's their Plump Line Lip Liner. It's in the shade Hush Hush. I have that under this, which is part of why I think it's not as pink on my lips right now as it normally would be because it's kind of mixing with this more nude color. I love the formula of this. The idea is that it's a lip liner, but it's also thick enough and there's like a brush on the other end that you could kind of blend it in to be your entire lip color, which when I wear lip liner, that's pretty much what I do. I end up coloring in my whole lip, then putting on a lipstick or whatever. This formula is amazing because it's creamier than like a MAC lip liner. And I have MAC lip liners I love and use all the time, but they definitely are a drier formula. This is a little bit creamier, but it's not so creamy that it's sliding all around. You know, there's some retractable, for example, lip liners that are so creamy that it's almost too creamy. This is right in between, and I just have grown to love it. I, I kind of want to try another shade in this, but I, I'm kind of waiting because I don't need it right now. But really, really like this. If you're in need of a new, like, go-to lip liner, especially if you can find a shade that works really well, I really think you'd like this. One that took me by surprise is the e.l.f. Stay All Night Microfine Setting Mist. I actually haven't put this on today because I'm not too powdery. I don't use this every day. I use it when I feel like if I've thrown on some loose powder, when I feel like I just need to take down that powdery look, I feel like it's helping with my makeup wear. It doesn't make my skin too, too greasy or anything like that. Like the Maybelline Glass Spray, if you like a really dewy look, it's it's pretty cool. It's like the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, but man oh man, that stuff definitely adds a glow. This does not do that. It really tamps down the powdery look, helps it kind of melt into the face really nicely. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> I haven't used it in a few days and I can't get it. Okay, so my thing just got stopped up, but now it's good, but it's got a nice fine mister and I just think it is a lovely, lovely product. Okay, and I also wanted to mention this Wonder Beauty Mist Connection Essence and Toner. Almost out of it, I already have my next one to use. I have loved using this as my very, very, very first step before doing any of my makeup. So I'll put this on, then a vitamin C serum, then my SPF moisturizer, then go into makeup. And this just adds that hydration into my skin. I feel like it's the perfect way. It kind of wakes my skin up. And it says it's a two-in-one essence and toner. So it balances your skin, but it also moisturizes. The mister is amazing. I've had no issues with it. And of course the bottle is pretty. Let me show you what it looks like, like brand new. Oh, I accidentally just mixed it, but it's like it separates into this pink and white and you shake it up before every use. And I have just loved this. And so I wanted to recommend it. I used to love one from Pharmacy and I think they discontinued a long time ago and I was so sad that I just never got back into Spraying on like a toner or essence before and so I'm excited to have discovered this and I really really like it I think that is everything. It's funny when I was kind of planning this video today and seeing like what do I what have I not mentioned yet that I've been trying recently but not something that I tried too too recently that I just don't know yet and usually it's a gut thing. I can look at it and be like, oh no, I know how I feel about that, you know. But I've tried a lot of new makeup recently, and so those I didn't feel strongly enough yet to mention a lot of the ones from my e.l.f. video, my Physician's Formula video. So definitely stay tuned for my next speed reviews where I will go through those and of course other stuff I try. Um, because I have a lot of exciting uh, things I'll be trying on the horizon. I literally today just placed an Ulta order for some new drugstore launches that I am just like, 
so excited to try. So definitely stay tuned, subscribe if you enjoyed. I do upload three videos a week. I would love to have you join our little family here and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.